good morning students <clears throat> so we are going to continue with the topic of real numbers class 10th in the last class i was discussing about some applications of euclid division lemma in that i have explained one example today i will explain some more examples show that we can solve some more questions of the exercise of the ncert book so now let me take the first example the first example is show that any positive odd integer is of the form 4q or 4q plus 3 where q is some integer this is the question now how we are going to proceed in the solution of this so if you look at the proving part let n is a positive integer again please remember it is a positive integer on dividing n by 4 let q be the quotient and r be the remainder then by the euclid division lemma we can express n equal to 4q plus r and look at the range of the remainder again as i said in my earlier classes the range is r greater than equal to 0 and less than 4 here n is dividend divisor and to quotient plus remainder now we are going to take different cases of this the case number 1 when r is taken as 0 then we can write n equal to 4q or look at the thing here we can write 2 into within bracket 2q and that means this number is divisible by 2 and so it comes in the category of even number if we go for the case number 2 that is when r is equal to 1 we can express n as 4q plus 1 now in this we cannot take 2 as a common factor and so it becomes an odd number that means it is the first odd number we are getting of the pattern 4q plus 1 we go for the next case number 3 when r is taken as 2 then we are going to write n is equal to 4q plus 2 and look at here we can express it as 2 within bracket 2q plus 1 a multiple of 2 and that means it becomes an even number then we come to the last case case number 4 when the remainder is taken as 3 r is 3 then we can express n as 4q plus 3 now in this case we are not getting 2 as a common factor so it comes in the category of odd and thus if you look at the question again we have to prove that every positive odd integer is either of the format 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 and we have already proved here here it is the first case 4q plus 1 an odd number and 4q plus 
another odd number. Now let me take one more example of this pattern. The question is use Euclid division lemma to show that square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m. It's a question of the exercise. It says that we have to use the Euclid division lemma. And now how to proceed this question? Let me come to the proving part. The first line is again the same. Let n be an arbitrary positive integer. On dividing n by 3, let q be the quotient and r be the remainder. Here q is considered as the quotient, r as the remainder. Then by the Euclid division lemma, we can express n is equal to 3q plus r and the range of the r again very important is greater than equal to 0 and less than 3. Now if we square both the sides that means if we are going to write n square 3q plus n square then after squaring we are going to get n square is equal to 9q square plus r square plus 6qr. Now to solve the question we will get different cases of it. Case number 1 when r equal to 0 then we will have n square is equal to 9q square. Again look at this, this step. 3 I have taken common within bracket 3q square and now we can take this 3q square we have assumed as m m is equal to 3q square so this can be expressed as 3m so for the first case when i have taken r is equal to 0 i have got the format 3m then i go for the case number 2 when i am taking r as 1 then we are getting n square is equal to 9q square plus 1 plus 6q. If we take common between this two term 3, then the format will be something like this 3 within bracket 3q square plus 2q plus 1. And again, what I have done, I have taken m as 3q square plus 2q and so the format has come 3m plus 1 that is in the case number 1 we got the format 3m in the case number 2 we are getting the format 3m plus 1 we will have the last case that when r is equal to 2 and in that case we will have n square is equal to 9q square plus 4 plus 12 key and this is a very important step how we have done it look how I have written 4 3 plus 1 and the logic behind it is here I can take 3 common in the first 3 terms and the last is plus 1 left and so I have expressed as 3m plus 1 and where m I have taken as 3 square q square plus 4 q plus 1. So if you look at the cases, we can now say either it is coming in the format of 3m, 3m plus 1 or always 3m plus 1. And the question was also saying the same thing that the format will be either 3m or 3m plus 1. Now on the basis of these two examples, I hope you can solve the exercise 1.1 of the NCRT book. So now for your assignment, I am going to give you the book 
assignment example 1.1 and the questions you can see here you can solve the question as an assignment and then keep it in a rough copy for your future purpose thank you